Hello. Hi. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. Well, I was raised in a very religious household. There was a lot of Christian morals. How do you think that has affected you, you know, um, how you choose to follow the path of religion now? Well, I didn't exactly agree with her views, so I deviated and created my own community called Amnita, Little Utopia. Ah, and recently there has been a lot of religious changes going on, especially with the churches. Do you think that changed your morals in Oneida? So I already believe that Christ came down to earth, and so there's not an afterlife. Tell me a little about the Oneida community. Well, our community is based off the idea that one woman to one man is derogatory to the female. So um, we join in communally and have communal sharing of everything, including children, actually. I heard about um, children being raised as a community, am I right? Mm hmm As soon as a child born is born, they're taken away from their parents and um, they are adopted into the community as a child. We give them to the strongest link of the community to raise them as their own. I heard that children are taken away from their mother after about 13 to 15 months. Do you think this affects the child at all? No, because it's community being shared. It's free love. Free love. You, you talk about this a lot. What, what exactly do you mean by free love? It means not one person is more than any other person in a community, so no one should be valued more, which means that one man and one woman are brought together selectively in our community as opposed to them being married out of love. Why are, are these two people brought together for a specific reason? Is there a purpose? It's to carry on the genetics. The strongest links of the community will create the strongest offspring. So, um, why is this important? It, to help the community grow as a whole. Other people may not agree with this. Why? I think other people aren't entirely open to the idea of equality, especially in sexual terms, as we are. The Oneida community is fairly big, ranging from 300 to thousands of people. How do you support yourselves? We sustain ourselves through factories, which are our main source of income, such as um, Oneida silverware. I see, I see. Um, do you... I hear you move to Canada. Why? I was faced with adultery charges. It's not adultery, it's free love. Henry Noyes was actually a very weird person. Very sketchy. He was arrested almost for statutory rape. Or almost arrested. And then he fled to Canada. Statutory rape is rape of a minor, so he, yeah, he fled to Canada. He was also charged with adultery, which he didn't believe was, you know, anything bad. Laws at the time were, like, not with his morals. It's and not rape if it's free love. Just a little extra. The kids he took away from their mothers to be raised with the community, um, any kid with a handicap or possible retardation were disposed of and never seen again. So not all fun and games. But and they also all had my last name. Noise. Noise. Listen. Almost for statutory rape. Or almost arrested. Almost. That's why he. <laughs> it's not adultery, it's free love. What's up, Daddy? What's up, Daddy? What's up, Daddy? What's up, What's up, Out here, just that we're like me. Hello. Alright, next. I'm gonna move on. You wanna move to another?